I'm Dan Ackerman, and we are here taking a look at the Toshiba Satellite U925T. Now, that rather generic sounding name doesn't really tell you what this uh, quasi laptop does. I call it a quasi laptop. It's really what we call a convertible, which is some sort of hybrid like combination of a laptop and a tablet. In this case, instead of the screen flipping around or, or swiveling or rotating, what it does is the screen folds down and then slides over the keyboard, leaving you with something that is very slate-like. You see, the keyboard is hidden inside, and then when you want to use it as a regular laptop again, you put it down, you slide the screen back, and then you lift it up like this. Now, we've actually seen this before. Sony had one uh, called the Duo 11 that was very similar. Uh, it's, its screen kind of more popped up rather than slid. Uh, but I like this version a lot better for a couple of reasons. Number one, the angle of the screen here is actually adjustable, uh, so you can get a better angle for it depending on how you're sitting, where the lights are. And much more importantly, or perhaps equally importantly, the Toshiba version has a touchpad down here, whereas the Sony version, in order to make it smaller and save space, got rid of the touchpad, just had a little optical track point right in the middle that was frankly not very practical. It turns out even if you're using the touch screen and you're using it as a tablet and you have a keyboard that works fine, you still really do kind of need a touchpad for a lot of things and that's probably the one area you shouldn't really cut. Compared to a lot of the other uh, new Windows 8 designed laptops and convertibles and hybrids we're seeing, th this is actually reasonably priced. It's $1150 and for that you get a 128 gig SSD and an Intel Core i5 CPU, which means that uh, it's basically on par with a lot of the other Ultrabooks that we've seen earlier this year. Maybe without the uh, sliding screen and the touch screen, you'd probably pay maybe $899, $900 for something roughly comparable sort of component-wise. It is a little bit of a premium for this experience, but of the different convertibles and hybrids and sliders and rotating screen laptops that we've tried so far for Windows 8, uh, this is one of my favorites uh, because it's a little bit different. Uh, you get the adjustable angles there on the screen and they manage to work in a touchpad at the same time. Uh, and it just feels like uh, very sturdy and travel-worthy. Uh, that said, I would get some sort of case to slip it into because when you have this folded up, even like a tablet, the screen is still exposed. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the Toshiba Satellite U925T.